Hey drone nerds, it's Matt. The Agris T50s just hit the warehouse. We're gonna do an unboxing for you and then I'm gonna pass it over to Julian here. He's gonna go over all the specs and the new features and updates for the Agris T50. Hey Matt, thanks for the introduction. I'm excited to be here today. We're gonna to be doing the unboxing of the T50 series from DJI. Let's get right onto it. All right. So, let's see if we can open this thing from the top. Can you give me a hand, please? Sure. All right. So right off the bat, we were used to unboxing the T40s. We had the uh, cooling station on the top, so it was uh, multiple pieces that you have to put together. Let's see what they came out, because we don't see it up here, so. All right. So right off the bat, we see a lot of new features. Uh, I don't know if you can zoom in here, but we get these new distinctive wide propellers. We'll talk about this in a few, but I can see already a few changes. So let's get this box out of the way and then we'll talk about the unit. Okay, now that we remove all the support foam, we have access to our remote standard just like the T40 and now this is what we were seeing right off the bat that they include the what looks to be yep it is the new and improved uh, cooling station so now it's pre-built for us you have access to put both batteries on it built-in fans it feels actually feels quite quite nice and sturdy so this is a good improvement right there Okay, so now that we have the unit out of the box, um, we have, well, first of all, right away, the one thing that you can see that is different from the T40 is the new props. Um, they have this <coughs> new color design. Nice and white. Same style. What seems to be a little bit of a different pitch. So, DJI said that this will work with the T40 as well, but they don't recommend it because of the difference in pitch. Uh, so that's one thing that to keep in mind. We have a bungee to support the props during shipping. Wow, right off the bat, this looks really good. I like that color, that nice and bright white. One more thing that I can see that they improved is the lat latching mechanism. So it used to be a bigger lever here. Makes it easier, nice one thumb or one finger. So it feels nice and secure. I like it, let's go to the other side. And so you always want to unfold the front or the back, sorry, arms because of this the sprinkler system. And then the front, nice and secure. Okay. <clears throat> Another feature 
that you can see right away as soon as you um, extend the arms is that now you don't you not only have one um, a sonar or a rate in the front but you also have a redundant or another radar added to the back so that will give you a full a sphere or 360 degree um, <clears throat> radar all around the the drone so you have you know you can detect obstacles above you underneath it's it's good it's great uh, so you can do it the drone will do better on a steeper slopes on following terrain even if you don't have the maps so that's great that they introduced that new or that secondary uh, array in the back if we start from the front here so you can see the um, improvement on the binocular uh, binocular vision so on the t40 you had these two right here they were integrated into the frame or in the fuselage but now they added a secondary one now as we know the drones they fly when they're flying forward they tend to tilt so before your binocular system used to point downward in an angle now if you can see this new uh, or the added binocular system they have an angle so when the drone is flying at an angle it's actually pointing a straight forward so redundancy there on the binocular system they changed the way the uh, the flood or the spotlights where in the t40 they were vertical now we have them horizontal so they're more like flood they now spread the light um, nice and across in front of the drone uh, it's great when you're doing operations at dusk or, or uh, dawn so you have now this this great uh, light in front of you another feature that they added or not they added but they upgraded was the camera so now the camera has um, better uh, coverage so you used to do with the t40 at uh, 6.6 .6 hectares um, with the battery uh, of coverage for mapping now you can do 13.33 uh, hectares with the with this uh, t50 unit the t50 comes with a 40 liter tank as a standard um, you have your filter now as you can see inside you have another filter in the bottom just right before the uh, the pumps they kept the system i guess <clears throat> or actually it was it was working pretty good at um, telling you the amount of liquid left or that is in the tank with the uh, with this uh, weight system so they stayed the same um, from the previous version you have the dual rtk antennas for your mapping which is necessary when you're doing uh, your mapping with the drone you have to be able you have to be connected to an entry system um, like we have in florida we have access to an entry system or a drtk antenna from the side here we see as well that the design for the uh, spreading system stay the same so you have the angle so you, the spraying system can uh, have free um, space to, you know, sparse the, uh, the, the, the product. <clears throat> now, the centrifugal system for the uh, spraying system, they, they improve the system. Now, um, it's still centrifugal, but it has a uh, solenoid solenoid valve to prevent um, the uh, leakage that you had on the previous version so now it's a solenoid valve to shut the system down so you have two these connections here when you are going to take this piece apart you uh, have access to these two these connections here so it's easier it feels uh, that improve that access to everything to um, on this drone in the back they changed a little bit of that configuration. So now you have to unscrew to have access to the uh, connections. Everything is better, is way more organized, but you have to uh, take these two screws and then you have access to you know, your power distribution board, your connections to all the pumps, to the uh, arrays, the antennas. 
Uh, one thing that I didn't mention um, is on the tank, the pumps, they also increase the flow rate. So that's a, that's a good and a, a great improvement on the uh, flow rate on this uh, new design on the pumps. Uh, worth mentioning is that another feature that was added is when you get your optional uh, spreading system, it was increased from 70 liters on the T40, it was increased from 70 liters to 75 liters on the T50. But now we can actually go and uh, you know mess around with the uh, remote controller which by the way is here let's just show the unboxing so we kept the same design in the remote same quality as you expect from dji so physically there was no improvements to the remote but Internally, we'll see uh, a few improvements, especially on the connection. And we'll show that in the next video, how, you know, the operating system works and everything, so. Okay. Let's put that back in there. So there it is. We have the new T50 out new and improved cooling station nice uh, distinctive wide propellers i hope you get to like it <laughs>